One of China's most famous and beloved cultural landmarks, the Leishan Great Buddha, is carved into the majestic foothills of Mount Amei in Sichuan Province. The magnificent statue is eroding at a faster pace than ever before. Its face is discolored and covered in streaks, and part of it has broken off. But what could cause this? Why is it suddenly eroding despite years of wind, water, and other abrasion since its construction in the early 8th century? The answer is a huge concern that affects all of eastern China, both aesthetically and environmentally. As China rapidly industrializes and develops, it depends on coal as a cheap and effective energy source, but at what cost? It turns out that coal burning not only causes severe air pollution, but also produces acidifying agents that return to earth in acid precipitation. The main agents in acid precipitation are nitrogen oxides and sulfates, both direct products of coal burning, with CO2 playing a small role as well. When these gases interact with the atmosphere and water, they form weak acids that fall back to earth and cause damage to plants, animals, and structures alike. Acid precipitation can include any kind of precipitation, including acid rain, snow, sleet, hail, and fog. The damage of acid rain is related to the buffering quality and composition of soil, the resiliency of native life, and how high or low the pH is, lower meaning more damaging. China is the world's leading coal consumer, going through over 3 billion tons of coal annually. 69% of power in China is derived from coal. This has severe implications for the nation's environmental future, and just by highlighting a few regions, it is clear that this is an issue that plagues the entire country and the world. Canadian scientists studying waters in the Sudbury area determined that per year, at most 14 kilograms of sulfate deposited is acceptable, while Chongqing City reports an astounding 139.8 kilograms per year. This extreme acidity is taking its toll on the forests, with many mason pine trees already dying. Unfortunately, scientists predict the problem will only worsen as the soil continues to acidify. In the Sichuan province, where the Buddha resides, acid rain affects 80% of the buildings and structures, causing loss of about 11.3 billion yen or 1.4 billion US dollars per year. Lastly, a northern city called Goyang experiences six times the acid precipitation of New York one of the areas most affected by acid precipitation in the United States. In order to protect the environment, China must invest in greener alternatives. According to Elizabeth Muller, the executive director of Berkeley Earth's Climate Research Group, even if American emissions were to suddenly disappear tomorrow, world emissions would be back at the same level within four years as a result of China's growth alone. Fortunately, China is already working on a host of initiatives to spearhead the pollution issue. The Chinese government aims to impose limits on the amount of coal consumed, and they also aim to burn coal in cleaner ways. Despite these promising innovations, they are not enough to reverse the effects of acid rain and pollution from coal. China is already behind schedule on its goal of coal reduction by 2020, with no decrease from 2009 to 2011. China's only chance at meeting this goal is by rapidly switching to natural gas, which is a costly process. Though the plan will decrease China's sharp trajectory of increasing coal consumption, it still puts the country behind the acceptable range. Tariffs must be put on other nitrogen oxide rich products and ones that will contribute to acid rain and air pollution. What we encourage you to do is take action. As Chinese citizens or members of nations abroad, we encourage you to petition and write to urge decreases in coal use. You can help by raising awareness of the issue, writing letters and signing petitions, and participating in demonstrations. In Hyman, a recent demonstration pulled through as protesters effectively managed to stop a new coal plant from being built. These actions do have potential for success. We all must support the cause of environmental protection. In order to protect the environment, China must invest in greener alternatives to coal. Steps need to be taken to reduce toxic emissions that cause acid precipitation, especially in China, in order to preserve our forests, aquatic life, and beloved structures like the Lashan Buddha for generations to come.